tree trunks. I ordered this before Christmas, and I figured by the time I have my truck done, yours is gonna be a full tube chassis Malibu, so <laughs> I, I prepared. Oh my God, honestly. <laughs> if you were just gonna drive this thing around and go to car shows, this would suffice. <laughs> but unfortunately, you're trying to get blasted by the Malibu. Scrappy's happy. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're out here today working on the truck. Had a bunch of new stuff show up today. Uh, we got our leaf springs in finally. Took forever for them to get here, but they're finally here. We got our cow tracks, new carpet, um, all kinds of new stuff. We uh, stripped out the whole engine wiring harness for the old 305. No wire cutters required. I did it all the right neat way <laughs> and uh, it actually wasn't too bad. We just went in to the glove box here. We took out the back panel of the glove box and uh, all the little connectors and was in here. And then we also had the, uh, the factory computer sitting here, unplugged that, took that out. And then all the, the wiring harness ran through the firewall right here. And then, so I'm gonna try and find some kind of bulkhead for a Terminator. That way we can run the uh, Holly harness through this hole. And I've got some other holes to plug through here on the firewall. We'll have to figure that out as we go. But And then we also started degreasing the firewall because it was pretty nasty and it actually looks really good. I might touch up a few spots in here where there's some, uh, you know, some paint that's gone away. Possibly getting this carpet in. I'm letting it sit out in the sun so that all the wrinkles get out of it. But yeah, we're gonna focus on getting these leaf springs in. New springs, new shackles, new shackles here and hardware and we already went ahead and uh, took out the front uh, eyelet bushing that goes right there because the cow tracks come with a uh, aluminum bushing in its place so we already knocked these out it's pretty easy we just took a uh, little impact socket and hammered it out thanks to uncle, Bu uncle bucko but yeah i think we're ready to get started wish me luck so here's the aluminum bushings we gotta grease them and push them in Hopefully they go in easy and I don't need a special tool. We got leaf springs and cow tracks on this truck. Can you believe it? What's up, fools? What up? I didn't think we were doing this today. You know how things are, just random. So we dug out your stuff from Quick Performance. And it looks like we have everything. It took us a while to find everything. It's been sitting here for a while, but. Oh boy. Got the housing here. Did you know you had to weld on the shock mounts? Yeah. Okay. So. Got the housing. The center section's already put together, so it's sitting right there on the table. Oh, sweet. So that's easy. You just literally drop it in there, put some silicone on it, and torque it down. And sweet. then the axles will slide in, hopefully. Oh, and they already got the studs in there, too. We just, we just, we just got oh, you did the that. studs. Okay. Hopefully the axles have the C-clip limiters already pressed on them. Already pressed on? Here. Yeah. So there's your axles, 35 spline, quick performance. 
This is gonna be way simpler than I thought it was gonna be. Yep. Ooh, tree trunks. Already pressed on. Mm -mm -mm. I well, I figured, you know, I ordered this. It's already got before, the seal on there. Before Christmas, and I figured by the time I have my truck done, yours is gonna be a full tube chassis Malibu, so <laughs> I, I prepared. Oh my god, Thomason. <laughs> well at least you think ahead. Right. Oh, that's good. What you doing in scrap? Put the center section in it. Looks like you're putting icing on the cake, buddy. A little thin right there. How'd I do? Put a little more right there. Yeah, we're a little thin. <coughs> you know why you're so good at that? It's from all the dunkaroos you eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time you picked up a wrench, Tommy. <laughs> start earning your keep. You got to start earning your keep around here, Tommy. People were really mean last video. You were SRC. catching all kinds Dude, of it was terrible. I'll never talk again in an SRC video. I just won't. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying quiet. There we go. Go up top and then down at the bottom. There you go. How many Ugga Duggas did you put to it? Well, we got to put washers on them. We're just trying to suck it down right now. Oh, to seal the gas. I've the lost washers. They didn't send any out. They didn't send any washers. <laughs> now, are these the same? No. They're not? There's a short and a long? Yeah. Isn't there always a short and a long one? Not in a Chevrolet, but mm -hmm. in a Ford, yes. And a Mopar thing, we learned. Oh, really? Yeah, because we tried to put... We put them in backwards one time. They're like, this rear end's messed up. And then we realized they were backwards. Oh. So there's two seals. This on looks that. like the long side to me. So on that other axle, well, there's just two measure. seals. What's this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Total wing. Clearly the short side needs to be on this side because look where the... Mm -hmm. where so, the um, yeah, the short side would probably be on this side. That side about 29 and a half. No, they measure about the same. Any mini mining huh? Catch a tiger blast. Don't do that. Not on camera. <laughs> All right, so fast forward. It's been a couple days. We were racing this weekend, but I had to wait for Uncle Bucko to bring a special tool over to get my axle seals in. All right, guys, so next day, we're back at my shop now. Billy helped me get my rear end home last night. We did a little more work on the truck. Stuff that was boring, that wasn't really worth filming, but I had some uh, some pieces of rusty metal brackets, and uh, I think like some of the stuff for the old spare tire hanger was still on the frame. So I got all that stuff cut off last night, kind of a pain. The other problem, I'm seeing is this rear end is not going to fit through the, the leaf spring and the frame. Um, so like just to get the rear end under the truck. So what we're going to have to do is, is roll it underneath, probably through the back and then shimmy one axle through that side, one axle through this side, and then get it on the, the pins. So a little tricky, but shouldn't be too bad as long as I get some uh, extra help. Uh, we, I think we can get it in, no problem. But so, what you think, Scrap? Huh? What you think? 
She's just chilling. She's supervising. I gotta go to physical therapy in like 30 minutes, but then I'll be back later. But before I go, I wanna clean up some of the parts of the frame where I couldn't get to before. Some of these brackets and stuff were. And um, I'm gonna clean it up with a wire wheel and a flap disc. And then before I leave, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down. Let's see, where's my, here we go. We got some uh, top coat PRR 15. We're gonna lay down on the frame. I already put chassis saver all over the frame rails um, a long time ago. It sat out in the sun for a while with no bed. And some of it kind of peeled and doesn't really look evenly matched and there's still some bare spots, you know? So I just wanna go over everything one more time with a top coat of POR 15 so I get the smooth uh, finish where everything kind of looks the same color like you can see there. Um, I just have some splotches and I want it to look really nice. So we'll go back over everything and uh, make it look nice. anymore it's like shiny wow that looks a lot better a lot better oh that was nasty alrighty so for the last hour and a half I've been underneath the truck I've been wire wheeling flap disking uh, washing with purple power Just, oh it took me forever to get all this grime off but um the bottom of this cab was just covered in like 200,000 miles of just road grime and nastiness and God knows what. Um, so I just went ahead and got a flap disc and went pretty much right down to bare metal and primer. And then we cleaned it off with some purple power and then uh, we put some POR 15 under the whole cab and it looks really, really good. I'm, I'm really happy with it. It looks so much better. It was. The last job on this thing I was really, really dreading. The last dirty job. It might be a little light in some spots, and I still got to do some of the frame reels, but I ran out of paint, and POR 15 is pretty expensive, so I only had two cans. And I know it's not perfect. I am no, by no means a pro here, so, but it definitely looks a lot better than what it was. I've called in reinforcements. <laughs> We're gonna try and get this rear end in here tonight. Just trying to set it on the pins. Yeah, we just need to get it up on the pins and make sure that the, uh, have you measured to make sure that the pads are at the right length? They are. Okay. I mean, roughly. They should roughly. be right. Yeah, I mean, these springs will move a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, they're not 100%. They've got, do they still have rubber bushings in the front? This is an aluminum bushing for the Caltrax. That's a rubber bushing in the back. Okay, but the Caltrax usually have aluminum bushings in the eyelet. Yeah, the yeah. Oh, okay. You've already done that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Well, well, mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. Thomason. We're doing things the right way around here. Can you wow. believe it? Yeah. I'm used to, let's not talk about it. Yeah, let's not talk about it. <laughs> well, well. All right, Thomason. Just got home from work and I'm putting you on the job. <coughs> All right. It's already filming. All I gotta say is people are mean. People are mean? People are mean. People are definitely mean. There you go. You got it. Alright. Uh -huh. This is like easier than a lift. We're up well. Alright, take it up. Gotta go more. You ready? Yep. A little bit more, by the way. 
I feel like yours is too. Let me look at yours. Maybe the spring just needs to be pushed over. Are you on the pin? I'm close. It's like the nut's too big. Well, it's. They can be uh, difficult. So what we need to do is get one side on the pin and get a U-bolt on it and, and pull it down. And then once you get the one side on, then we can maneuver the rear end. Because I'm going to say both the springs are probably going to come in a little bit. But what we're fighting right now is like mine wants to go on, but it's stuck on the... It's like we need to round the thing more just to lower okay, down. Just pick up the rear end and set it forward. Yeah. And then take your socket and hit it again. <clears throat> Don't ask, Allison. <laughs> I'm purposely rounding these nuts. <laughs> Looking pretty good there, old son. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, okay, Thomas, let's talk for just a second. No, 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 listen. So technically, the locating dowel, this is what you're supposed to be locating it on. Right. But since you bought stock springs, mm -hmm. the locating dowel is upside down. That's what those are meant to sit on. But what I would suggest is we consider calling the fire truck and having him just torch that and go to Mark's and get the dowel pins that we need and flip the dowel pin and do it properly. Because what, all right, now hear me out. Because you want to take that, uh, the overload leaf out anyway. If you were just going to drive this thing around and go to car shows. That would be, that would suffice. This would suffice. <laughs> but unfortunately, you're trying to get blasted by that Malibu. <laughs> And you're going to need all the rigidity. Rigidity. Yes. I'm thinking that we should probably put the correct pins in and flip them and do it the right way. How hard is that going to be? Well, it's called a, the fire truck. <laughs> when I came over, you were like, we're going to do things the right way in my garage. Remember? Well, they're so close. I mean. Oh, I know they're so close. They're close. They're close. Is the right way still not an option? It's gonna have to be. This is not going to suffice, no matter. But now we've, <laughs> but now we've rounded the nuts, so it's just a pain in the ass. Heat wrench. I wanted to finish the video out, video <laughs> out, rear end in the truck. Oh, come on, you so know life is never that easy. <laughs> it's never that easy. You can want in one hand and shit in the other and see which one fills up. Is fire truck still up? <laughs> well, he won't be up tonight. I mean, these are double paid hours right now. Well, the Mrs. Heat Miser has him on lockdown until tomorrow morning. Wait till I wait till I. All right, I'm gonna call him. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Let's see if he answers. How do you think he'll answer? Hello. <laughs> Hi, you've reached Jeremy at Hoskinson's Heavy Duty Service. We're not able to get to the fire right. It's no <laughs> answer. Hmm. I bet if I call, I'll answer. Let's you think see. so? Maybe. Let's Try. Let's see. You really think so? <laughs> you might get Jeremy in some trouble. <laughs> it's nothing that I don't already know. <laughs> he now knows there's an emergency. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Well, we made a bet that you wouldn't answer my dad and he'd, you'd answer me. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> okay, so what we're dealing with here is um, a problem. A problem. So we're, we got my rear end on my leaf springs here. Just They're not on the dowels. They're just hanging on by the, the leaf springs. And um, The dowels are upside down. The dowels are upside dowels. down because... I got stock leafs, but I'm flipping the axle to above the leaf springs, right? So on top of the spring pack is the nut side and not the dowel side. Well, so yeah. it won't fit into the spring perches. And so what we decided to do was, is around the nut to make it fit, but it still won't fit. So basically, it's your problem now. <laughs> so we need to put a dowel on the correct side. Call a fire truck. <laughs> It was my dad's idea. I'm well, under the bus. Yeah, on intentionally purpose. on purpose. 
Well, we thought maybe we could just turn the nut and do it now. Or you could have just bored the hole out in the block. Well, well we didn't have a big enough drill bit. We don't have a big enough drill bit, and then that tries to locate the perch on a hex instead of a round dowel pin, which it's supposed to have. So, so there's that. I'm so suggesting that we bring... The bolt out and flip it around backwards and then stuck it back through the spring perch. Yeah. So I'm suggesting that we get a smoke ridge and just cut it off and put new dowels in the right way. But there's a situation here where there's an overload leaf and if we replace, if we remove the overload leaf, then the dowels need to be shorter. So you want to take a leaf out? Yeah, we want to take the overload, the heavy overload leaf out of the bottom. All right. in the morning and see if I can get shorter uh, dowels for it and just take those out and put those shorter dowels and take your leaf out. Well, I don't standard, be standard dowels would probably work because the, the longer sides go into the bottom anyway and you can just cut it off. Mm -hmm. So but standard. Yeah, as long as it doesn't have a machine shoulder with a thread. Well, it won't sure matter that way good. anyway because there's a special Caltrack mount that goes underneath the spring. So we just cut that off anyway. Yeah, I can just log off the grinder. Yeah. So, there's that. Send help. <laughs> this is why, okay. This is why it would be so much easier if everybody's projects were in the project shop and then all the tools, the torches, the grinders, the cutting wheels, like everything and everyone is all in one area and we can share resources. But the, <laughs> the way it is now, the tools are over here, the truck's here, there's a hill, we can't push it. I mean, we just, it's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Not for long, though. Not for long. But Not for long. That's why I keep my tools with me, because then you know what? I know where they're at at all times. That I can to my so I don't want to get low on cutting points. You put the rear end back up on the spring. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank there you. you go. So we've gotten this far. Little snag. I know, I know. And I really, when I measured that, I thought, if you just round those shoulders off, it would go down, but then you really got to rounding the shoulders off, and here we are. So, I will take the blame. It was my initial idea. Oh my Myself. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how screwed I am here. Ooh, Thomason. Oh, they stick out just a little bit. Yeah, they do. That's too far. Yeah, they're going to, like you've got three inches, you can mm -hmm. go in. Yeah, they need to be like six inch backspace or five and a half. Those are four and a half. Mm -hmm. Four and a half by what? 10, 12? Oh, oh boy. All right, well, I'm going to go home and try and chase your mom around a little bit. Well, how do you get up tomorrow, Tears? Noon. Noon, I will be alive. I don't know when I'll be up. But noon, I'll be ears on. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll stop by around right. it. And we'll go to Gander and see what's up. I'll call Flax. He's going to give her a Gander, old black. <laughs> hey, what? Just let me look at it first before everybody gets all fucking parts by E. Parts by E. Is that for an extended cab? No, I don't know why it's so long. It's for extended cab. Man. You cut it off. The one carpet kit, one part number for both so they just send you extra you just cut it off but that's cool yeah. you know you can cut that off and then put it on the dash or you can make something out of it you know it's a hippie thing <laughs> i know <laughs> what oh. all right jeremy i'll let you go thanks for answering thanks for answering me buckwheat <laughs> dag burn this was supposed to work <laughs> well technically we're not far off but those rims definitely Okay, fast forward to today. Last night we did we did stupid things. Today we're fixing them. So we got new dowel pins in there. Went and got some new ones, and they're on the right side now. So let's pray that they'll fit into the holes on the perches, and we can be happy, and we can end this video. Aha! This is where I get scared. 
because we're gonna have to do some hillbilly ass shit. Ratchet strap, check. Dog, check. Yep, there it is. Down all the way. I'm gonna keep the ratchet strap like that until I get some U bolts on just to make sure that don't go nowhere. We are on the dowels, baby. Just to show you guys, I've already sold these wheels <laughs> um, and I'll get some different ones, but uh, yeah, we can go in. I want them to be tucked, I don't want them to stick out, and at this point right here, they're close they're they're probably sticking out right there these are four and a half backspace wheels i want them to be sucked in a little more so i'm probably gonna go with a six inch backspace most likely those are four and a half or maybe i'll do five and a half suck them in an inch probably try and do six i think i have enough room there but i think i, I think i want them to be sucked in there into the step side pretty good so Jump. Chevy, get over here. Hello. I have a Hi. dog. There's a dog. I missed you. Come set up my cow tracks. I don't know what I'm doing. And you think I know what I'm doing? There's me. Hi. Okay, come here. Come here. We gotta finish this video out. Okay. I need your help. Scrappy's happy. I'm sorry. I'm a little busy. <laughs> okay. Okay. That is not pudding or jello. Please don't like that. <laughs> okay. Hello. So it says. I'm sorry. There's something really cute over here to film. The hex end goes on that side, and the round then goes on. I have no idea how to set these up. We're just gonna, literally all I'm doing this for is so I can take a thumbnail picture and start editing this video because I want to get it out today. Out to the video. <laughs> just trust falls with a Chevy. Ready, Chevy? Trust fall. Oh, 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 uh oh. Uh, <laughs> this dog is not right. Oh, she pushes off. <laughs> yeah, she does it on purpose. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Alright, close it out, Chevy. Close it out. Ooh. She's ready to play. <laughs> I got that Bluetooth cow track. Yes, sir. Bluetooth cow tracks for the win. This video is probably going to be way too long and way too drawn out, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit, of, a lot of bit of everything. Um, we were all over the place in this video, but a lot of unexpected. I think I just thought that I'd be putting the leaf springs on in the carpet in this video, but it turned into leaf springs, carpet, rear end, cow tracks. So, but that's awesome. We made a huge amount of progress this week. Crazy amount of progress. I mean, we have a roller basically. I mean, I, I could have a roller tonight if I had everything together. I just need I'm, I'm some U-bolts and uh, some wheels and tires away. That's it. So, but I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I hope you guys are excited as I am at this point. This thing's really coming along and uh, man, I'm really, I'm really happy. It's, as you can see, it's getting nice out. And it's, everybody's getting their street cars out. So uh, I have a lot of work to do still, but I'm more motivated than ever to get this thing done. So I appreciate you guys watching and supporting and we'll see you in the next one.